Hello everyone, today is 26th of March, now it's half past 5 in the afternoon Moscow time. I'm Levan Gudadze and this is new episode of Headlines. Short summary of the news that I will talk about in little more detail on my Patreon page in the second news update of the day. In about hour or two hours time. So, well, there is uh, quite a number of uh, important and interesting news that I have prepared and let's go through headlines now. Leon Ovost is a report with the headline that uh, Patrushev, Nikolai Patrushev, Secretary of uh, Security Council of Russian Federation, confirmed uh, that uh, behind the uh, Krokus City Hall terrorist attack is uh, Ukraine. Also, RT's headline that uh, US, UK and Ukraine could be behind Moscow's terror attack, according to FSB chief, by the way. FSB chief mo was mo not as direct as, uh, uh, as uh, Secretary of the uh, Security Council. Also, RT's report with the headline, Ukraine's top spy is legitimate target, according to FSB chief. Um, Plenty of statements were, was made today by leadership of Russian security forces. Interesting statements. And of course, all the details, by the way, in the second update on my Patreon page, RT is reporting that, well, Zelensky fires its, uh, his security chief. The head of uh, Ukraine, Ukrainian National Security and Defense Council, Alexei Danilo, has been relieved from his uh, duties. This individual is known as... Uh, uh, as a person who was basically openly bragging about some terrorist attacks on Russian soil. And if you remember, I said a few days ago that if uh, Washington and London were not involved in planning of this terrorist attack on Russia, uh, then probably White House, Downing Street 10, US and UK's uh, secret services will force Zelensky to remove all those people who were directly involved in planning of this terrorist attack from their from the offices and maybe Danilo is first and if that's the case definitely not the last anyway let's continue you know this information with the headline that uh, russian armed forces uh, conducted uh, precise strikes on decision making centers in ukraine including uh, including um, this is decision making centers of uh, Ukraine secrets services information was confirmed by Russian defense ministry a defense minister of Russian Federation Sergei Shoigu made statements that Russia has no plans to conduct mobilization in the uh, near future he was answering a question about buffer zones that uh, Putin spoke about between Russia and Ukraine and question was asked in in regards to those buffer zones if mobilization is planned so that this mobilized uh, personnel will establish uh, buffer zones. Shoigu answered no. There is no plans to use uh, conduct mobilization and then uh, use mobilized uh, servicemen to uh, create some buffer zones. So there are professional militaries that can do um, this operation. Although, by the way, my personal opinion is that because question was very specific, answer was also directly on that question. Uh, me personally, I would not exclude that in next two or three months' time we will see some mobilization in Russia. Not to, not to create, uh, not because Moscow has plans to create some armed formations to conduct some uh, offensive military operations, no. But uh, this additional mobilized force can be useful to conduct some uh, uh, police operations on liberated territories because when we are talking about Ukraine, it's, it's a vast, vast country, by the way. Uh, vast areas and uh, for policing definitely thousands and thousands of people are needed. Zgliad newspaper is also reporting that according to U Ukrainian uh, uh, deputat, how you can say deputat, MP by the way, member of parliament of Ukraine, uh, there is draft bill in Ukraine's rather, uh, which is parliament, uh, according to which Kiev regime plans to mobilize 18 year old uh, youngsters. Uh, definitely a confirmation, direct confirmation that Western ruling class uh, is willing to continue this uh, proxy war against Russia until last Ukrainian. 
RT is reporting that Pentagon's new Ukraine aid package was spent months ago, according to Politico. Announcement about this uh, package was made a week ago, but money and military package itself was already spent months ago. Some mess, uh, some 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 cha chaotic situation in Washington. What they are uh, doing, probably they don't know themselves. RT is reporting that uh, Assange wins rights to appeal extradition to US. The 52-year-old Australian has spent five years in London prison following a long and dramatic period of asylum in UK's Ecuador embassy. The British High Court ruled on uh, Tuesday that WikiLeaks founder Julian Assange can mount final UK challenge against extradition to the US to face a trial for publishing secret diplomatic and military files. <coughs> uh, little, little victory for uh, for Assange he would not be extradited at least right now into US but uh, many people including wife of Assange was expecting that he would be released uh, from uh, custody although he will stay in, in jail unlawfully because he is arrested by uh, UK's uh, by British government unlawfully RT is reporting that uh, US bridge collapses after being hit by ship. Uh, very dramatic footage, by the way, circulating on the internet. I shared on my Telegram channel when this container ship basically smashed uh, this uh, bridge, which uh, several sections of which then collapsed. And uh, well, according to reports that I see, uh, some 20 people unfortunately may, uh, may fail into water as a result of this uh, catastrophe. RT is reporting that troubled African state is to host Russian military base. Uh, Central African Republic's government uh, earlier confirmed its decision to strengthen Moscow, Moscow's military presence in their country to train its troops and well in near future build up of uh, Russian military base should be begun in that country. RT is reporting that India buying uh, more US oil aimed Russian sanctions. Um, and uh, yes, this is it for now. This is it for now. Quite short video, I guess. Yes, it is. Quite short video. Hopefully you will find this um, uh, video interesting and somewhat informative. And as I said in the beginning, all the details about every single news in my second update, uh, second news update on my Patreon page. This program, by the way, uh, headlines uh, basically are advertisement for my Patreon page, which is a main, uh, a main lifeline for, for, for this small media project of mine. And if you are considering to support my work, uh, Please subscribe to my Patreon page. It's a monthly paid subscription and you can choose the level of uh, support from five dollars uh, to ten dollars to twenty to fifty. It's uh, it's up to you. And as I said, uh, uh, Patreon is definitely main main lifeline for this project right now. Of course, at uh, the uh, same time, I'm ex extremely grateful to all the members of our community who supports my work through paypal and uh, and the boosty and who supported through buy me a coffee uh, although right now i don't no longer have a page on buy me a coffee because um, i was uh, cancelled because of my russian citizenship which is unfortunate but it is what it is uh, you can see all the links by the way if you want to support under this video in the description box or in the pinned comment this is it for now have a great day and take care